Welcome to the PLL on ESPN, presented by Champion. Homecoming weekend continues for the Carolina Chaos. The Carolina Reaper is in the house for the New York Atlas. They've got the Slim Reaper. It's a pair of unbeaten teams, two 2-0 two squads, the Atlas and the Chaos in the first of two on this sunny Saturday. It's goalie of the year, Blaze Reardon. Miles Jones steps into one from long range. And they're going to give him the two on that. Late in the shot clock, Jones plays a little cat and mouse game with the substitution box. So they're going to act as though they're substituting off to get defensive personnel, and they just lose Jones. You can see the two white jerseys at the top of your screen starting to trot on. Jones realizes, hey, wait a second, they thought everybody was leaving. He wisely just turns around. Teat, of course, finds him. And Jones buries it. A quick Manganel pass up to Aiken. Aiken, goal line extended. And that's another long range connection. Tyler Carpenter, draft pick and a rookie out of Duke. And it's 4 0, a pair of two pointers for the Atlas. And the Atlas, I just love what they do in transition. Get it down the wing to Teet or Schellenberger and then trust their decision making. Heads up read there by Schellenberger. You can see him scan inside, find Carpenter, the trailer. Carpenter had an incredible opening weekend. He had a deep one pointer this time from range. Here's Jeff Teet using the pick from Jacoby. Teet marked by Jared Newman. Throws a mean check. Teet to Dixon. Got it. Lightning quick release by the Slim Reaper. If you're open, he's going to find you. And by traditional standards, Xander Dixon is not all that open. You're going to see as Teet drives up the side, Dixon just kind of does a little fish hook. He cuts in and then circles back. Teed puts it right on his stick. This is going to be a beautiful camera angle. I mean, there's not a lot of daylight. And Dixon paints that upper corner offside stick on Cal. Beautiful placement. Raw Scott is just Raw Scott, right? Two first names. Got to say them both. Hug! Jules Henningberg spins it back to X. Question mark, shot to score, chaos on the board on cue, Ross Scott. The dynamic element of Ross Scott behind the cage, he's just so quick, two-handed, so you got to be able to defend both sides, and a clearly defined role for him. Here you can see him just explode up the left side of the cage, roll back to his right hand, Classic question mark move here. And then find some space. Troutner beating him five hole there. But I love them drafting Ross Scott and having a clearly defined role and plan for exactly how they're going to use him. And he is executed and put productive every single game. Birthday party earlier. You think I wanted to start? <laughs> Perkovic, the outside hammer. That's two for Sergio. It's 5-3. Just too much air space given to Perkovic. His second two-pointer of this young season. You think about his introduction into this chaos lineup. Last year with the Redwoods, he didn't score, Anish. He didn't score. All season long, Chaos take a flyer on him, and he has revitalized his career. He has proved that to be an incredible pickup. Jones draws the double. Here's Dylan Malloy. Malloy, Ursa Major using the mass. He played in the second game the Atlas played last weekend. Two goals, two assists for a guy who, again, his future in this league for a little while there was very much in doubt. Atlas picked him up mid-season last year. 
his ability to get into training camp, get acclimated with his teammates, the systems. He has delivered, as you alluded to, four points in Albany last weekend. Just, just too productive to keep out of the lineup. He's a natural attackman with Schellenberger back and healthy. They're running him out of the box. He's alone. Newman marks Teat. Three seconds. Teat feeding in front. Dixon slam dunk. Three assists in the opening quarter for Jeff Teat, who continues what looks to be maybe an MVP type season. And this is a beautiful kind of inside two man game between Schellenberger and T, or excuse me, and Dixon. There's Dixon right here is Schellenberger. He's going to set a screen, and Dixon's just going to wrap around this. So T goes hard to the cage. Watch Schellenberger. That little brush right there frees up Dixon. T eyes are always up. Beautiful chemistry there. Off ball between Dixon and Schellenberger to free himself up. Baptiste, as Ryan alluded to in the first quarter, struggling, lost his stick. Aiken picks it up, accelerates into the box, shoots low, and beats Cout. It is eight to three. The Atlas, like a stampede, running downhill. Once you saw Aiken pick this up, and it was four on four, and he had a short stick in front of him, you knew he was going to be ultra aggressive. So off the faceoff, there's this kind of bang bang ball goes flying right here. This is danger zone for chaos. You know Aiken's going right to the rack. He's so big, he's so strong, he's so physical. I mean, McKay's there. He just shoots through Manish. Frankly, missing the cage a lot. Not, not even challenging Troutner. Hattingberg's been quiet so far after a four goal game against his old team on Friday. Perkovic down the alley. He's got a three point afternoon. Good job spatially here by Carolina, just clearing out half the field for Perkovic, who demonstrates his ability to score not only from range, but also on the run. But look at all that green. Chaos finally put one on cage. Can they keep this rolling? Short stick. Yeah, Logan is as good as it gets in terms of D middies in this league. Berg maneuvering with Rex Road. Hurts again double. will set the pick. Jules, little hesitation, turns the corner and scores. Rutgers on Rutgers here. The Henningberg Rex Road matchup, a ton of familiarity. But Henningberg is just so shifty, can beat you in either direction, so you got to defend his left and his right. This little hesitation right there as he gets to behind the cage, and then the explosion upfield. And you can see him reach his stick upfield, increasing his shooting angle, finding some sort of space on that far pipe. Has a short stick matchup with McKay. Teat gets by him, turned away by Cout. Cout has definitely settled into this game as Carolina's got numbers. Geddes all the way, fires and scores! Atlantic to Pacific, Zach Geddes. And some more chippiness after the fact. But going back to this goal, this is all about Austin Cout. Five saves in that second quarter. You can see this attempt by T. Cal gets a burger to Aiken. Part of the Cavalier contingent. Ronan Jacoby feeds Dixon, and he scores. Xander Dixon ends the scoring drought, and the cushion is three. Beautifully designed play. They're going to swing it to this backside. Freeze it right here. Look at these two players. These are the two Atlas players working in concert. And you've got this defender by Chaos, he's trying to get out to Jones. So you're gonna, he's gonna sprint out to Jones and then Dixon's just gonna slide right behind that defender into the open space. So Newman thinking, okay, I gotta get out to Jones. He's already buried a two-pointer. Dixon just lets him go. 
and then slips and slides into the dead area in the zone. The chemistry between those two former Virginia teammates on display. Dylan Malloy. His shot turned away, and now Geddes. Turbo boost. Geddes running through the defense again. All the way! Set Geddes! Hit the accelerator! How about the speed by Geddes? He just turns on the afterburners. You can see Jones trying to get back in transition. And Geddes just goes Roadrunner style, meep, meep, and just flies. Here's the turnover and the loose ball. And at this point, it's just a track meet, and Geddes goes, see you later, and buries it. Second of the day for Geddes. The 600th ground ball of his career. Miles Jones, hands free, rocket, bullseye. Jones continues his strong day. Hands free, just hard overhand, and Rowlett just gets caught in the substitution game. He's on ball. Rule number one, you, you don't leave the ball carrier in the sub game. Hey, Trevor, as you go to face off, wanted to congratulate you. That was your 600th ground ball, so well done. Thank you. Josh, and that's a face off win, but credit Carpenter. Aiken on the run, hello. Welcome back, Docs Aiken. After a year away from the PLL, he has been dominant. Dominant. Shooting 50% coming into today. His second. He's just such a load. He's so big, he's so physical. The solid little rub there by Baptiste creates some separation from Ray so Aiken can get his hands free. And that's what Baptiste affords you, his ability to win the faceoff and then stay He's on got the team. Trapped on defense here. And they're looking to get the matchup. Now they almost had it with Byrne. Scott got free and got to the middle. Great discipline by Scott here. You're going to get all these mismatches all over the field, but eventually it's going to find Scott Stick. And he just keeps carrying up field and getting to the middle. And so oftentimes you see guys catch that early and take that low angle shot. He works his way to increase his shooting angle, unlock the full six by six before uncorking that. He's been super. What's that guy? Schellenberger setting the pick. Jones, snakes, question mark. Count got a piece. Comes back to Schellenberger. Fresh 32. Shelly around the crease. Gets the goal. And the hit by Rowlett for the flag. A lot of action on this play. One minute. Unnecessary roughness. Late hit. A lot of action capped off by Schellenberger. You can see Jones does that question mark. Cal comes up with a save. Schellenberger picks it up, realizes, wait a second, the defense hasn't totally matched up. And then clearly, after that shot had been released, Rowlett late and high. It seemed like he and Schellenberger had some friendly banter during the game too, but moving forward. And they figured out just give the ball to number 42 and he had six goals between the fourth quarter and overtime Tate gets free beats count his first goal of the game his fourth point of the game nice little action atlas have been using this extensively it's a pass down pick down so as we roll it freeze it right here you're going to see this pass down 
and then this inside out pick right here. And that is gonna free up Jeff Teed. He's gonna come around this pick. This little rub, Newman's gonna get caught up in the wash. And then with that leverage, Teed, that's all the space he needs. Chaos need to be prepared behind the play to have a slide. Even though Newman's the on-ball defender, once that advantage has been gained, you gotta help, you gotta support. It's on ABC, the Water Dogs, and the Boston Cannons. Dixon fires and scores. That's too easy for the Slim Reaper. Heads up play there by Dixon, his fourth. Kind of a strange action, but Dixon finds himself open. Loose ball, big ground ball pickup, and he just buries it all by himself. Carolina's in danger zone, Anish. And are you at the point now where you're hunting a two, Ryan? You're definitely thinking about it. You got Berkovic and Kurtz. Kurtz gets the quick one. Power play goal. And the lead is 14 and out. Given the slickness of this personnel, they should be better. They should be better. They've squandered some opportunities. You look at them, one of six going into this one. If they were able to cash in on those more effectively, the gap would be much tighter, but nice feed by Byrne inside to Kurt. Kurtz is a stretch shooter, but he also has a nice inside game for the chaos. Perkovic. Up top, Byrne. Feeding inside. And the goal is good. Kyle Jackson, the Canadian connection. And give Byrne his fourth assist, three of which have been on the power play. But Atlas stretch way out, and Kyle Jackson is just going to sneak inside of Makar. You can see Makar start to creep up a little bit. Jackson recognizes that, cuts right behind him. And Troutner actually got a piece of that. Four assists for Byrne. Baptiste wins the faceoff. Schellenberger, the quick answer. <laughs> Felt a shockwave through Charlotte. That one had some pop. All instinct, no thought required. Five seconds after Carolina cuts it to four, Baptiste wins this to himself. And J Schellenberger just unloads. Watch this catch and release ultra efficient in his shooting mechanics. Nothing Cal can do about that. Can they get something in transition? This is when you gotta hunt the twos. I brought up Kurt's name earlier. He's a stretch shooter. Just a careless turnover by Atlas. A self-inflicted offsides violation, and in transition, that's when twos present themselves. And Kurtz just a heads-up play. You gotta close out on him. You're gonna see off the turnover, so the offside gets called. Aiken puts it down. Chaos, let's go. Kurtz just kind of gets lost here. Makar closes out, but you got to get all the way out there. And this is a no twos, no twos, no twos scenario, and Kurtz makes him pay. Draft picks paying immediate dividends. Connor Schellenberger, the number two overall pick. We expected that. Tyler Carpenter, fourth round choice out of Duke. Sensational today. He's played well through the first two weekends, and the Atlas are three and zero. How bullish are you on New York, Ryan? I think we haven't even seen Liam Entman in cage yet, Anish. We're still waiting on the return of, 
uh, Jake Stevens, Brian Costabile. This team is loaded. They're young. They're hungry. Second game of her doubleheader is coming up in about 30 minutes on ESPN+. Plus. It's Maryland and Boston. The point is next here on ESPN2, getting you ready for the Stanley Cup Final.